Okay, so first things first, I want to make sure that I kind of level set with you guys. Power Virtual Agents is a power platform application that allows you to be able to build conversational AI experiences. Now, one of the popular channels that we have for uh, being able to have chatbots where you can communicate with, of course, is Teams. And there's a lot that's going on in this space. So, and we're, we're going to have some demos over a really cool new feature, but just to kind of get you started, if, you ha if you're not aware, uh, we have a public preview that's currently out where today, currently in Power Virtual Agents, you have two different authoring Canvas environments. You have a low-code authoring uh, environment that comes just out of the box with PBA as well as you can download the Bot Framework Composer, which is a pro-code authoring experience where you can use either of these to be able to build different topics within your conversation. Now, the beauty of the new public preview that we announced a few months back was that we actually decided we were going to bring these two canvases together into this new unified authoring canvas. And by doing this, we're enabling people to be able to not have to make a decision on the different authoring canvas that they're going to use. They can author now rich responses. They can. We brought PowerFX in for very and a new variable system that allows you to do really complex things that you couldn't do in the past, and also not making you have to learn an adaptive expressions language that's unique to bots. Now you can leverage the PowerFX system to be able to figure out how you can write different queries and things um, to bring tons of great formula logic to your bot. Also, being able to look at the code side by side with a visual authoring canvas, you can actually edit or copy and paste into wherever you want. Um, so this makes it where you don't have to worry about if you don't know how to uh, write YAML, you can choose to do it in the visual authoring canvas, or you can write YAML and you can even copy and paste YAML into the visual authoring canvas or copy a node out into Notepad and get the YAML. So this is actually really powerful. Um, we also are bringing in the ability to do things beyond just being able to say something. You'll be able to send and receive events and be able to provide context to the bot without the author actually saying things. And then we have done a lot of work in productivity around copy and paste. We've um, multi-node selections and things of that nature. But everyone here is really here to hear about the new feature that we announced on the 9th and that new feature, which is also in that public preview. So if you go and you are building a new bot, you just have to simply just say that you want to create a new bot on in the preview. Um, It'll, it'll give you two options, production or preview. Choose the preview option. And one of the new things that we offer is boosting your conversation with GPT technology. Now, what is this? This is actually allowing you to say that you want to be able to boost a conversation and allow you to be able to take a URL, a public facing URL, and make that part of the bot conversation without having to author all the topics. Now. Being able to do this allows it to generate the responses only from the content that you've connected and allows you to be able to be in control of the GPT experience that, that you're generating responses from. It also reduces the hallucination that you get from a GPT response. If any of you've used ChatGPT, you're aware that it can kind of make things up. So we are actually doing the work to make sure that that hallucination is not uh, happening across your data, as well as we're also making it where you can reuse content uh, from your website to be able to bring it in and generate conversations. Now, all of this is great, but nothing speaks better than a demo, right? So let's go in and let's do a live demo. And in this is a Power Virtual Agent spot that I've created. Now, in this, I went ahead and I'm using uh, the Georgia Tech website. So Georgia Tech is a university here in the, in the United States, very popular university. And you can see here that I've just simply enabled boosting the conversation to georgiatech.edu. Now, you'll notice also as well that I have options to be able to handle the filtering. But if we look at the topics within this bot, you can see that I really don't have much. I just have like goodbye, greetings, start over, and thank you. There's really not much in this bot that we're looking at. 
So what I'm going to do is, just so you guys don't have to watch me type, I've already got a few things I'm going to ask this bot. And one of them is, I'm going to say, what are your admission requirements? And it will come back. And you can see that it's responding to my conversation with different answers. Now, the breadth of this is that you'll see is all of these things are actually happening on the back end through a GPT generated response fed from the website. And I'll just ask it a bunch of different things here so that you can see all the different things that we can potentially answer um, by plugging this in. Noticing that none of this has been authored as content within the bot. Um, also, be aware that we are also having it where it's pulling this live against the website. So if the website were to get updated, it would automatically uh, provide additional uh, information that is accurate and up to date from the website. So keeps you from having to maintain a bunch of different topics in a FAQ back in and things of this nature. And you can see like an example is uh, recently Kamala Harris went to Georgia Tech to talk about a particular topic. And it'll take it a second here just because uh, this environment is actually a, a internal environment. So it takes it a second sometimes to respond. Um, so with all of this, notice that we've been able to generate all these responses. I've accelerated the ability to do all this. Now, one last piece that I want to jump back to my slides here, just to make sure that we set some expectations around this. So we see this as a new paradigm and the way that topics will be created and the way that topics will be managed for conversational agents. Uh, generated responses that are happening with open AI models or with our conversation booster are more of a piece of a conversation or a piece of a conversational agent. It could even be a piece of a topic, not the whole bot. So what you should expect is that you're gonna have things that you're gonna author through the unified authoring canvas. These are the core things that your bot does. Like if uh, I wanted to purchase something or I want to submit an application, uh, these would be examples of things that you would author with multi-turn conversations that are scripted and, and a process you walk through. There's also a need for FAQ and scripted responses. And FAQ and scripted responses, uh, you can use PBA topics, you can use FAQs with custom question answering. This is a situation where maybe I don't, even though it's my data, if I want to say, well, what is the best drink in the world? And let's say I'm a company like Coca-Cola, I actually want marketing to control that. I don't want that to be generated off of some article about an award we, we won. So then you have these generated responses. These generated responses we anticipate will fill in the blanks or allow you to have a conversational experience that will go around a specific set of data. And then last but not least, escalation. The ability that if, this, if you're getting frustrated or you hit, see churn detection or something of this nature, or if someone says they want to talk to a live person, this is where the escalation uh, channel comes in or the escalation component comes in. I mean, that's where omni-channel or a live agent handoff scenario plugs in. Now, the key is the way that we are able to achieve this is PVA acting as that dialogue manager, bringing all of this together into a unified experience for users and allowing you to be able to tap the power of the GPT um, responses and generated responses while keeping the control within the enterprise. So with that, I'd like to say thank you for your time today. Hopefully this is exciting. If you want to give this a try, I'll put a link in the chat that will allow you to be able to go try PVA. Um, but we look forward to hearing your feedback and uh, look forward to seeing how you guys uh, use this in the future. Thanks. Hey, excellent. Thank you, Devine. That's what that was really, really cool um, and awesome updates uh, for sure. Great demo, uh, great presentation.